how to put deadline dates on a P6 Professional Gantt chart. Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to place a deadline marker on a Gantt chart. This is somewhat like the deadline feature in Microsoft Project, only these markers will appear on the Gantt chart but have no influence over the critical path whatsoever. In short, they are a passive marker that will alert the project team to any important dates or deadlines in the schedule without the need to use constraints. So, let's take a look at the process. Step one is to create two user-defined date fields. If we look in the user-defined fields dialog, you can see I've done this here and named them deadline finish and deadline start. I've set each of these with a data type of finish date and start date respectively. Once we have these two fields, we need to add them to the columns of a layout and enter some dates against an activity. So let's close out the UDFs dialog and open the columns dialog. In the columns dialog, we select the user defined category and then double click to add the deadline start and finish dates to the selected options list. We now close this dialog to apply the change. And we're ready to enter some deadline dates in our UDFs. Because we define these as date fields, we can click on them to open the calendar dialog and select the dates from there. Or we can simply type in the date, whatever's easiest. OK, so let's look at the project complete milestone date, which is calculated to be April 10th. Let's say the customer has given us a deadline of April 30th to complete the project. Now, I could put a finish on constraint on the project complete milestone, set that to April 30th, and then I reschedule. However, because we're short of that date right now, the constraint has put float into the entire schedule and basically hidden my critical path. So, rather than locking down the schedule with a constraint, I'm going to remove it. And then, I'm going to enter the April 30th date into the deadline start field. And then copy and paste that into the deadline finish field. We do need to have the date in both fields for this to work. OK, that's good. Now, we need to create a bar that will display whenever a deadline date is entered into these UDFs for a particular activity. So, I'm going to right click on the Gantt chart there. And in the bars dialog, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom and select the last row. Next, I'm going to click on the Add button and then enter a name for the deadline bar, which will of course be deadline. In the timescale field, I'm going to set that to user dates. When I do this, P6 may automatically insert UDF date fields, or you may have to pick them both. It kind of depends on recent usage as to how it behaves here. Anyway, we need to set the deadline start and deadline finish UDFs into these user date fields. The filter row can remain at the default of all activities, as the presence of deadline dates will control when a deadline marker appears on the Gantt chart. So we don't need a particular filter. OK, having set all that up, we just need to design what the deadline marker should look like. So in the Bar Styles tab, let's start by picking a triangle shape for the start and finish ends of the bar. It works best if you pick the same shape for each because they're both actually going to be displayed. And for the middle, I'm going to choose no bar at all, just the blank value there at the top of the list. For the color, I'll pick something that will be easy to see, like magenta. Again, I set that at both ends. Let's now set a solid pattern for each end. And for the row, I'll leave that at the default of 1. 
Now, if you would like the deadline date label to appear next to your bar, drop down into the Bar Labels tab and click on the Add button. Now you can type a D on the keyboard to scroll the list to the Ds and choose the deadline finish date. Now all we have to do is click the OK button to apply these changes. And let's also save these changes to the current layout. You can already see there on the project complete row the magenta triangle indicating where our final deadline date is sitting. One last cool thing to show you. If you open the bar chart options dialog and switch on the legend option, you can see the new deadline bar displayed at the bottom of the list there. This is also true for the legend at the bottom of any graphical reports you produce. So there you have it, an easy way to place date markers on your Gantt chart without using constraints, milestones, or other items that will affect your critical path. 106 Consulting offers a wide range of project and earn value management training courses, including some self-paced video classes in Primavera P6. Visit 106.com for more details.